compares an akazo so that my household can be full. So when a principality brings government, you need another agent to compare people to come. You can build a church boy to be empty. He said, be not drunk with wine wherein is excess. He said, but be filled with the spirit. Speaking to yourself in psalms, in hymns, and in spiritual songs. Making melody in your heart to the Lord. See, there are realms we cannot enter except as we charge up our spirit. There are dimensions we cannot host except as we charge up our spirit. There is an intensity level that your spirit man gets to. And you begin to download things from the heavenlies. Can we pray in the spirit? Mando Ramakai, Azula Bragdiva Casto, and Zazazazina, Marado Bladagaya, Marenos Tavela Kira, Ragabada, Ranto, 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 Lalish, Nevivikiata, Azura Bakatali, Maradonta, and Azuria Takabira, Ragadadagadida Sadaga, Mombra Natali, Azondo, Rakadira, Radadadabonda, Malindro, Atro Velakira, Ragaya, Huriata. Elolo Manakayanda Azoto Maragada Radaga 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 Malila Kaba Rastovela Galagadua Izo Zabadakea Mato Riata Izo Zefali Raklidana Ragadala Mada Taile Sunabakaya Oh thank you Father Now go ahead and begin to address every negative circumstance in your life begin to address everything trying to negate the manifestation of the word of god in your life Be begin to judge them he said every tongue that rises up against you he said in judgment thou thou he didn't say god he said thou shall condemn so there are certain things that it's your responsibility to address can you go ahead and begin to release judgment against the forces of darkness against the powers that are holding you back against the powers that have this insisted that there's an embargo on your life you are in a corporate anointing at this time people are connected from all around the world join your faith join your atmosphere join this atmosphere begin to make declaration he said behold how beautiful how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in harmony he said it's like the dew upon mount hermon he said there the lord commands his blessing we have connected in the spirit as a corporate persona he said whatever two or three of you are gathered and agree upon he said it is agreed in heaven he said whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven he said whatever you lose on earth is lose in heaven come on brothers and sisters Selala kuna tahadia Ure negata Maladon lea paraste vinaka Zozes Zozes Area marados Netalia We cancel embargoes We cancel sicknesses We cancel bad laws We cancel omens We cancel evil machinations We decree The light shines In the darkness Come on Rabro nesteria Rekila borakatalis Raduata Hinos he knows, he knows, he knows, he knows. Azeze, Zenadakira, everything not planted of God is supported now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every gang up of darkness is scattered now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Ezeriato, Andiliana, Maranada Kua, Ezeze, Orodogos, Tevilaga, Indra Banadonda. We lay hold on the sword of the Spirit and we send forth the word. We decree every judgment against the saints is scattered. It said, Gather together, you shall not stand. Take a word, it shall come to know. Speak a word, it shall not stand. For our God is in our midst. It said, There's no enchantment against Jacob, there's no divination against Israel. The shout of the king is in their midst. Oh, rest the Pharaoh. Belarus, Dinaga, Jaka Katori, Raga Gagata, Raga Gagata. Everybody held down by demonic powers, by demonic influences. We cancel them now in the name of Jesus. Every force speaking against your family, we change the verdict. Every program of darkness designed to pull you down, the power of the Holy Ghost comes to lift you now in the name of Jesus. Relele suna karita azazekira mandara gai ezozo aziata morato bregada ruanda da juna eadoa 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 marina stoka esdo vringa talusta edadira talaga in bruna we rebuke evil we rebuke death 
will review book backwardness in the name of Jesus. Let your morning break forth. Let the fountains break up from within you. In the name of Jesus, every evil around your life is scattered. In the name of Jesus, Raste Barakai. Oh, Shamanai. Menteriga Pa. Aleko Sabarande. It says that the lawful captive be delivered. It says that the free be taken from the hands of the mighty. It says, Thus saith the Lord. Even the captive of the mighty shall be delivered, and the free of the terrible shall be set free. I decree, even those who are lawful captives, the night is your emancipation. We lose you and we release you. Go forward and prosper. In the name of Jesus, you can wait upon the Lord and not be liberated. You can't wait upon the Lord and not be delivered. This is Mount Zion. And he said, upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. There shall be holiness. He said, the sons of Jacob shall possess their possessions. I release your possessions unto you. In the name of Jesus. He said, out of Zion, Savior shall arise. You are not just delivered. You are commissioned as a Savior. I speak over you by the apostolic authority over my life. And by the name of Jesus, the name by which every knee bows, go forward and prosper. I let loose. I release you into your destiny. I release you into your purpose. Every foundational powers, every negative and demonic covenant, the blood of Jesus speaks against them now. I shatter patterns of the bloodline. I shatter covenants of ancestors. I decree by the power of resurrection, step into the newness of life. Walk in the glorious life in the name of Jesus Christ. Higher, thank you, Father. Elanos Manteri Arika Sagash Sagagata Ezege Sagina Zaga Isisagaya Ererina Dagash Hinde Dana Azege Zagani Anzuzaya Peradia Aruana Gandiga Rianono Sagash Elila Elila every demonic priest servicing altars against your destiny their tongues are cut off in the name of jesus their witnesses are thwarted the heavens over them is locked darkness swallows them up i release the judgments of the spirit if they don't repent they go down in the next seven days judgment visits the household of the wicked hey it says suffer not the witch to leave everyone that have risen that you have not erred against, that you have not offended, but by act of wickedness and maliciousness has decreed that you will not go forward. They die by fire. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Hey, 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 princes are mounting their horses. Princes are mounting their thrones. They say, I've seen an abomination on the face of the earth. They say, princes are walking. White beggars are riding on horses. I come by the apostolic mandate and I alter those patterns. Let every prince mount their horses. Let every prince mount their thrones. Hey, la, la. They say, he lifted up the beggar from the donkey to establish him among princes that they may inherit thrones. Inherit your thrones. Inherit your thrones. Inherit your thrones. In the name of Jesus, even death goes back tonight on your account. Everything in your life dying, your businesses, your health, even family members. I rebuke death in the name of Jesus. I rebuke death. He said, For this cause was the Son of Man made manifest that he may destroy the works of the devil. Every work of the devil in and around your life. I cancel it now in the name of Jesus. Zealous, zealous. I release the sword of judgment. Let the fire from the presence devour the gathering of darkness, the gathering of evil men in the name of Jesus. And let the blood speak on your behalf. Oh, you are let loose. Oh, you are released into your destiny. I see people becoming fruitful in the name of the Lord Jesus. You are settling down this year. They have released an embargo that you will not get married. No, they die. They either repent or they die. You are settling down this year because the power of Egypt is addressed. The mouth of the Leviathan is shut. 
the gates of Egypt are open. Go forward, men and women, trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I see barrenness judged. Aya, Aya, Sarik, Sarik, Larika, Tuna, Zarak, Didagak, Didagak, Davigagaka, Zaria, Namanune, Adika, Ruka. I judge barrenness, primary, secondary infertility. Whatever it is called, it is cancelled in the name of Jesus. Everything in your life that is paralyzed, I cause paralysis. Walk into your destiny in the name of Jesus. Yerosh, Rakira, Parak, Zedze, Eros, Tavi, Nakaya, Zezezanos. I rebuke blindness. I rebuke deafness. I rebuke stagnation. I rebuke every force of darkness. Let your life spring forth like the morning. Shine forth in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. Your children are entering their heritage. They are entering their inheritances. In the name of Jesus Christ. Haya, Horama, Asira, Garagata. Holy over and I. Hando Rama Makata. Hando Rama Makata. Tonight is a night of judgment. Oh, many have been vomited from the wombs of darkness. They have kept you there for years, but you come out tonight like the children of Israel out of Egypt. You come out tonight in the name of Jesus. Higher giftings and dimensions, graces and potentials that are locked. They are opened up in the name of Jesus. No one lighted a candle and places it under the bushel. Let your light shine forth. Let your light shine forth. In the name of Jesus, I release you into your destiny by the power of the Holy Ghost. Except I'm not sent. Except I'm not called. In the next seven days, your mouth is full of laughter. For when the Lord shall turn away, turn again the captivities of Zion. He said we were like them that dream dream. So was our mouth filled with laughter. I decree over you, your mouth shall be filled with laughter. In the next seven days, your mouth shall be filled with laughter. Impossible things have been made possible. Stagnated things have been given the power for speed. Go forward in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ah, I'm charged. My spirit is vexed against the forces of darkness. Everything in your life that the devil is responsible for, it ends tonight. And everything you have lost, you will receive sevenfold return. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I see restoration coming for someone. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have declared. Wow, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Father, we bless your name. We honor you tonight. Abba, Father, thank you. It's growing from one level of glory to another by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Many of your children all around the world, they'll be giving thanks tonight. They'll be giving thanks. The next seven days are days of harvest. Days of multiplied harvest. Some of you will receive a 30 fold. Some of you will receive 60 fold. Some of you will receive 100 fold. They are days of harvest. Every day you'll be receiving harvest. In the name of Jesus, I release that into your life by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus precious name. Amen. Brothers and sisters, you are welcome to the live stream tonight. I'm so humbled to receive you to this platform. Tonight, I believe that God is going to release things that the devil has held in darkness and things that the devil has stopped from manifesting in our lives. The hand of God will be stretched tonight and they will be released. In Exodus chapter 3 verse 20, he said, Tonight I will stretch forth my hands. He said, I will strike Egypt with all of my signs and my wonders. 
He said in Exodus chapter 12, verse 12, he said, Tonight I will pass through Egypt. I will judge the gods of Egypt. The Lord will wrought signs and wonders in our lives. And the Lord will judge all the spirits and all the gods stopping us from entering into the fullness of our ordination. This is what the Holy Ghost will be doing for us tonight. But in order to give direction and perspective, I'll just read a few scriptures to us to give us an understanding of what God expects and what God will see and have do or manifest in our lives. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. Thank you Lord Jesus. Thank you Lord Jesus. We have a few testimonies. I don't even have time to take them. Glory to God. Oh, my spirit is charged. I want to go into the word of the Lord. I want to go into the word of the Lord. Play just two, three testimonies for me quickly before I read the scriptures. I'm just reading four scriptures tonight and then I make declarations over you. It's going to be brutal in the next seven days. Play a few of the testimonies. Very few. Oh, Raki Solavakis. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Papa, may God bless you. Is the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm Maxwell Eboyamwa from Ghana. Papa, may God bless you. Right after the one hour service you had with us just this evening, um, I had the burden to pray for an hour. And whilst I was praying, I, I slept off. And then when I woke up, I was feeling so dizzy and tired that I could not be on my bed. So I had to go to sit in front of my house. And when I sat there, there was a woman who was owing me long ago. <laughs> and God be so good. She looked at me and then she was questioning, is this sir? And then I was quiet and then she said, I am coming. You just be here. I'll be here. Back, I'll be back with you very soon. So I sat there and then she 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 came back by paying me the amount that she was owing. In fact, glory be to Jesus. I Good evening, sir. My name is Favor and I'm joined from Osho State, Nigeria. I thank God because yesterday when the man of God was ministering, I received a divine healing. I do have this pain in my chest and the lower part of my tummy. And I do have this slight headache too, that whenever I'm walking, it too affects me a lot. But I thank God because yesterday I received a divine healing. There was no longer any pain in my chest or my stomach. Everything was God. I bless the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm choosing my name from India Fair, also state. So I want to appreciate God for what God has done in my life. Uh, for over four years now, I'll be battling with side problem. No. <coughs> that, that is, when I'm reading, if I read for a while, I will, not be, I will not be able to see very well again. In fact, sometimes I will not be able to see anything again. And it's really frustrating, even in this Now, it happened on Wednesday when I was having my quiet time. Sometimes around six downward, I discovered that tears that tears are coming out of my very heart and uh, I cannot control it. It keep coming, keep coming. Then when when I touch it I felt some particles and uh, and fast forward to uh, to Thursday I stopped playing games I was so on the whole my I stopped playing games the video I watched the video and I was blessed by it and I discovered that that video was still the same like on Wednesday that was, I wasn't on one online so I was blessed and I received my healing when I was not online. I wasn't online, but I was healed. Uh, thank you, Jesus. And um, I want to use this video to thank us too. That thank you for saying yes to Christ. God bless you, sir. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. We give God praise. We give God praise for, for what He's doing. And it's going to be from glory to glory. The brother from Ghana, he said, after the, the declarations, you know, from the from this altar, after the fasting, he went in and he had the burden to pray some more. And after praying for about an hour, he came outside. And a woman that was owing him for a very long time, who would not pay up, suddenly saw her and ran. She hardly recognized him at this time. 
and said, Are you this, this person? He said, Yes. And she said, Wait here. She went under pressure to bring the money that she was holding. I decree and I declare over someone anybody who is keeping anything that belongs to you, they come under pressure now and it is released in the name of Jesus. The brother said he was, he was having issues with his sight. He reads and he can no longer see tears coming out of the eyes and he heard the word of the Lord and the eyes got healed completely. Every infirmity and every sickness, every challenge you came here with tonight, by the power of the Holy Spirit, you will receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Very quickly tonight, I want to read a few scriptures to you. We have people connected from all around the world, and I believe God will touch you regardless of the nation you are connected from. Because we are not connected in time, we are connected in, in the spirit, and there's no barrier in the spirit. Jeremiah 29 from verse 11, here's the word of the Lord for someone tonight. Because there are special things God will begin to do with us, and there will be a high level intensity in the next seven days. He said, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, say the Lord. He said, Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. So God has you in mind. This is the first thing I want you to pick out from this scripture that the heart of the Lord is filled with your thoughts. You are not just one person floating around looking and seeking for God's attention. God is thinking about you. God is filled with your thoughts. And he's not just thinking thoughtlessly or casually about you. It's a thought that is deliberate because it's hope and a future for you to give you an expected end. And I want to give you an idea, some of the thoughts that the Lord has in mind for you and why you must take delivery of them by power. Because many times, God releases what he has for you, but there are interferences that require for you to engage in battle for them to be released. Mark chapter 16, from verse 16, these are some of the thoughts that God thinks towards you and what God expects from you. What God expects when he speaks of an expected end. This is what he's talking about. Mark 16, verse 17. He said, and these signs shall follow them that believe. So the first thing you need to know is that God has a plan. God has an expected end. And that expected end is that your life should be an endless stream of signs and of wonders. Your life should be a continuous flow of miracles. He said, these signs shall follow them that believe. And then he began to list some of the signs. He said, in my name shall they cast out devils. So as far as God is concerned, devils should never be your problem again. So he has released a power to you to address devils. Does it not shock you that this is the first sign? Because if you don't cast out devils, the other things God wants to do, they will hinder it. So he gives you authority to address them. Because if God is releasing blessings, demons and devils should not have the right and the authority to hinder them. And those are some of the things we'll be doing in the next two minutes. To address demons and devils that are stopping us from taking delivery of all God has made available to us. He said they shall cast out devils. He said they shall speak with new tongues. Number three, he said they shall take up serpents. And if they shall drink any deadly thing, he shall by no means hurt them. And he said, when they lay hands on the sick, he said, the sick shall recover. Now, think about this for a second. Imagine you are not a Christian, and then they told you about a group of people. And they said, this group of people, wherever they go, signs follow them. Miraculous signs. And they say, when these people talk, demons flee. And they tell you, even if these people drink any deadly thing, it does not hurt them. They say, these people lay hands on the sick, the sick recover. Whatever they do, it prospers. Imagine if you were not a Christian and they told you there is a group, a species or a group of people that operated like this. What would you tell yourself? You would tell yourself you want to be a part of that group of people because this is the thought God thinks towards us. But the problem is that many times the things he has released from us, for us, the devil comes to interfere with it. And so we need to understand that it's our authority to address demons, to address devils and to stop them from interfering with what God has, has released for us. In the Old Testament, God rebukes the devourers. But in the New Testament, he said, in my name, you rebuke them. 
you take authority over them. That means whatever you want to see depends on you, not on God, because He's giving you the authority to rebuke them. In James chapter 1, verse 17, here's another very beautiful scripture. I'm laying this foundation so you will know that only the best is good enough for you. This life of mediocrity, this life of struggling, listen, I know the place of suffering for the kingdom. I know the place of, of abe being abased for the kingdom. But I'm telling you that anything you don't decide to undertake for the name of Jesus does not have the right to happen to you. Every suffering in this kingdom, we willingly accept it as a sign of worship, as a sign of sacrifice and labor for the kingdom. Anything outside that, we have the authority to deal with them because God is not wishing you evil. God is not sending you evil. So you cannot tolerate evil. The Bible said, weeping may endure for the night. It said, joy comes in the morning. It said, our light affliction are but for a moment. If it exceeds a moment, it's not the will of God. Our light affliction are but for a moment. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17. It says, our light affliction are but for a moment. It says, however, they work for us an exceeding and eternal weight of glory. So, if it exceeds a moment, you reject it. James 1, 17. Hear what the Bible says. To give you an idea. You know, in Jeremiah 29, 11, we say, I know the thoughts I think towards you. They are thoughts of good and are not of evil. To give you an expected end. In Mark chapter 16, verse 17, it shows you some of those expected end that your life should be a wonder. And then in James 1, 17, it goes further to let you know how God is predisposed towards you. And he said, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Imagine the kinds of gifts God gives to us. Number one, he calls it good gifts. Number two, he calls it perfect gift. He said, it coming from above, from the Father of light in whom is no variableness nor shadow of turning. That means God will not change his mind about you. Every blessed thing that God has made available to you, he will not change his mind about you. He will not change his mind about the matter. He is steadfast, he is stable, and he is focused on blessing you. And he calls it good gift. He calls it perfect gift. The last time I checked, cancer is not a perfect gift. The last time I checked, poverty is not a perfect gift. The last time I checked, backwardness is not a perfect gift. The last time I checked, delay in marriage is not a perfect gift. But see the problem. God wishes these things. He empowers us to have it and he releases it from heaven. But there are demonic forces on earth trying to stop them. Look at Daniel chapter 9 verse 2. Daniel said, I, Daniel, I understood by books. I understood by books the number of years whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet that would be accomplished 70 years of desolation. So even when Jeremiah spoke that after 70 years, Israel would be delivered, time had come, prophecy had captured it, but there were devils stopping it. And if you go to chapter 10 from verse 4, you are going to see what the Bible says. In fact, let's read that from verse 1 so that you see a holistic scripture of the things happening in the heavenly places. Listen, if you are not educated about the heavenly places, God will be giving you life, but you'll be suffering death. God will be giving you health, but you'll be suffering sickness. The reason we are pushing aggressively in fasting is because we are making a demand that we must take possession of what has been released to us. God wishes it. God empowers us for it. God released it from heaven. But there are demons on earth who say it will not happen. Daniel chapter 10 from verse 1. I'm going to read to verse 12 and you'll see some of the things the Bible said. It said, In the third year of Cyrus, king of Persia, a thing was revealed unto Daniel, whose name was called Beteshazzar. And he said, The thing was true. He said, But the time appointed was long. And he understood the thing and had understanding of the vision. Go to the next verse. He said, In those days, I, Daniel, was mourning three days full weeks, 21 days fasting. He said he was fasting because Daniel knew the secret that the problem was not with God. The answer has been released. God wished it. God has released it. But if he doesn't engage in fasting, it won't happen. He said for three weeks, full weeks, I was mourning in the place of fasting. Go to the next verse. He said, I ate no pleasant bread, neither came flesh nor wine in my mouth, neither did I anoint myself at all till three whole weeks were fulfilled. Then things began to happen. And he said, And in the four and twentieth day of the month, as I was by the side of the great river, 
which is Hidekel. Go to the next verse. Then I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of offers. Go to the next verse. His body was like the berry, and his face was as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet like the colors of polished brass, and his voice was like the voice of a multitude. Go to the next verse. And I, Daniel, alone saw the vision. For the men that were with me saw not the vision, but a great quaking fell upon them, so that they fled and hid themselves. How could they see the vision? They were not fasting. Daniel was the one fasting. He said, Therefore I was left alone and saw this great vision, and there remained no strength in me, for my comeliness was turned in me into corruption, and I retained no strength. Next verse. Yet I heard, yet heard I the voice of his word. And when I heard the voice of his word, then was in a deep sleep on my face and my face towards the ground. Go to the next verse. And behold, an hand touched me, which set me upon my knees and upon the palms of my hand. Go to the next verse. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved. Imagine a man greatly beloved, suffering in captivity. He said, understand the words. So God can love you, but you'll be in captivity. He said, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright, for unto thee I am now sent. And when he had spoken his words to me, I stood trembling. Go to the next verse. This is my verse of emphasis. He said, then said he unto me, fear not Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thy heart to understand, and to chasten thyself before thy God, the words were heard, and I am come for thy word. How can God release an answer? And it was 24 days later that the man received it. Because there were contentions. Go to verse 20 and verse 21. And you will see why. That something God released from heaven would be held up in the heavenlies for complete 24 days. But Daniel had understanding that for you to contend until you receive... You have to engage in fasting. So for 21 days, Daniel did not stop. He kept fasting. He kept insisting. And while he was insisting, battles were going on in the heavenlies. Does it not shock you that God can have a good thought towards you? That God can declare that your life will be full of wonders. That God can declare that he has released good and perfect gift towards you. But when you check your life, nothing is happening. This is why we are fasting. Because when we fast, we force the spirit realm to respond in our favor. Look at verse 20 and verse 21. The angel began to educate Daniel on the things that were happening. He said, then said he, Knowest thou therefore I come to thee? And now will I return to fight with the prince of Persia when I am gone? He said, Lo, the prince of Grecia will come. Go to verse 21. He said, But I will show thee that which is noted in the scripture of truth, and there is none holding with me in these things but my care, your prince. You see that? It was captured in scripture. God released it from the day Daniel started praying, but the prince of Persia was fighting. And he said, when the prince of Persia is gone, he said, the prince of Grecia will also come. He said, but I will keep fighting, and even my care, your prince, has come to support me. Now, you know that in Hebrews chapter 1, I think from verse 9, the Bible said, the angels are ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation. So there are angels already mobilized. Check verse 7 or verse 9. He said, or eight. He said, there are angels. Yes. No, verse, no, the next verse. I think verse 14. Yeah, I get it now. Verse 14. There are angels already mobilized for you. But like Michael is the prince of Daniel and Israel. He will not fight until you begin to energize on the earth realm. So when we are fasting, we are insisting. Because now we know the mind of God. That the thoughts God has towards us are thought of good and not of evil, to give us an expected end. We know that God has already commissioned us that signs and wonders should follow us. We know that the gift God has given to us, they are good and perfect gifts. But we check our lives, we are not yet there. And so one of the powers of the spirit realm 
for insisting that everything stopping what is meant for you must come to you is the force of fasting. Daniel said for 21 days, I ate no pleasant bread. I did not allow flesh get into my mouth. I did not drink any wine, neither did I anoint myself. And while he was engaging, the angel Gabriel came to give him understanding that your answer was released from the first day you asked. But he was being withstood by the prince of Persia. And that the prince of Grecia is also forming to come. He said, but my care has been released to support me. Can we pray in the next one minute? Every power, every spirit, every being that is stopping the manifestation of all that God has released to you, be it a man, be it a spirit, they are judged by the power of the Holy Spirit. Go ahead and make brutal declaration. He said, keep me in remembrance of my word. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 26. He said, with thy mouth thou shalt be justified. And he said, with thy mouth thou shalt be condemned. And in Isaiah chapter 44 verse 26, he said, the Lord confirmed the words of his servants. He performed the counsels of his messengers. If you don't talk, you will not see. He said, we believe in our heart, but we confess our way to salvation. Can you make some brutal decrees now? Every force reason against my business every force reason against my family every force reason against my ministry in the name of jesus the lord all of you are brought low i destroy you i cancel you i judge you i rebuke you by the power of the holy ghost i take possession of my inheritance rakatoria ezeze zuzu raki Baragata, Zezelia, Maragana, Zuzuzaga, Zakat, 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 Zanulo, Ragadadaka, Morwata, 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 Ele Rusagis, Zagido, Radigo, Aligo, Sagash, Ragadadadosta, Zilo Maragana. Every power standing against your rising, every power standing against your promotion, every power standing against your breakthrough. They go down by fire in the name of Jesus. Zozina, Zalina, Riado, Baragua, Baragata, Yadoashta. In the name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke darkness. We rebuke Satan. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. In the name of Jesus, we cause evil men, we cause witches and wizards that have vowed that over their dead body, they will not let us go. The earth will open its mouth and swallow them. They will go down six feet below because their wickedness will break upon them. In the name of Jesus, Elelesu, Azilia, 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 Baraka, Twash, Twash, Twash. In the name of Jesus, now you have uprooted things. Begin to plant, begin to plant wonders, plant miracles, plant breakthrough, plant good health, plant prosperity, plant encounters, plant transformation, plant increase. In the name of Jesus, hey, let us, hey, let us, hey, let us, hey, let us, Arakatonia, Baragata, Zeze, Zeze, Zeze. Aloro mana ruba kaya zagadadadadoa zadadadadoa in the name of Jesus. Now let me give you an idea, the level of increase God wants to give you, because some of you your mind needs to open, because what you are asking for is beneath what God wants to give you. Jeremiah thirty three verse twenty two. Let me show you how God wants to bless you, because you may not have an idea, and you see. The extent of your vision is the boundary of your blessing. Jeremiah 33 verse 22. See the magnitude of blessing he wants to give you. He says, as the host of heaven cannot be numbered, neither the sand of the sea measured. He says, so will I multiply thee. May multiply the seed of Jacob, my, of David, my servant, and the Levites that minister unto me. We are the true Israelites today. Those of us who are born of God. And so that scripture applies to you. He said that we multiply you in a way that as the host of the heavens cannot be numbered, neither the grains of the earth be counted. He said that is your blessing. With this understanding, can you make some dangerous demands? Can you speak increase? 
can you speak breakthrough in spiritual engagement a natural engagement can you decree that you take over can you decree that you are blessed and there is no place to accommodate i oh that brother testified he said the person owing him for many years was put under pressure to bring it but what we are talking about here is beyond people paying debt we are talking open heavens we are talking abundance abundance such as cannot be numbered Yes, to Ferrakis. Zaladadada. 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 Eato. Rakana. Rakana. Yeleata. Zostava. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You know, Daniel said he insisted in prayer and fasting. In the next 30 days, beginning from the 1st of September up till now and to the end of the month, we are insisting. The heavens must open. Everything released for us and to us must be released in the name of Jesus. Now I want to make a declaration over your life. You will not fast and be put to shame. He said they looked up to him and their faces were radiant and they were not ashamed. Now in the name of Jesus, every sickness in your life is caused. I uproot it in the name of Jesus. I cause cancer, I cause diabetes, I cause hepatitis, I cause paralysis, I cause eye defects, I cause deafness. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke sickness. Be healed right now. I cause tumors in your body. I command them to disappear by the power of the Holy Spirit. And in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, I decree every sickness in your body arthritis pain they go now in the name of jesus i decree over you every demon and every demonic interference they are hereby rebuked their holes are broken in the name of jesus i release life into your life, your body i decree anything dying in your body come back comes back to life your ministry comes back to life your business comes back to life. Those of you who have been jobless for many years, in the next seven years, there's an intervention. In the next seven days, there's an intervention. You are stepping into a new realm. In the name of Jesus, my God, I cause bone conditions. Everybody suffering from a bone affliction, muscular affliction, you are healed in the name of Jesus. Suffering from paralysis, you are healed. There is sickness in your body, weakness and heaviness. You can't even walk. You are healed. I'm seeing somebody carrying all forms of heaviness. Heaviness. You literally can't stand up to walk. Now, jump up and begin to walk. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Every tumor in your body, it vanishes now. In the name of Jesus, eyes be healed. Ears be healed. Organ infections be healed. Skin disease be healed. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke devils. I rebuke demons. I speak over your businesses. They begin to flourish and they begin to blossom. In the next seven days, you will make gains that you have not made in seven years. In the name of the Lord Jesus, step into abundance by the miraculous power of God. Step into your miracle. Step into your miracle. It is your time. Everything the devil stole from you receive double portions. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I see, ears here, pains go, strength mantles your body now. Begin to do what you couldn't do and go ahead and give God thanks. Glorify his name. Glorify his name. Glorify his name. This is the morning of your life. They told you you will die. I rebuke fear and I rebuke death. You will not die. Even from this hour, strength enters your body. You are receiving strength now. You are hearing me now. Death has left you. You are receiving strength now. You will not die. You are giving up already. You say, I'm 41. I'm not going to settle down. Before the next seven days, God will do a miracle. And you will begin to connect with the right people. Before this year is over, you're already talking about settlement. It is now your choice. Because I decree you are established. And you are settled. The gate of marriage opens to you. In the name of Jesus, prosper in your relationship by the power of the Holy Spirit. I rebuke those demons of stagnation. 
with the anger and the vengeance of God. Lose them. Let them go. Every power of Egypt over you is cursed. It's cursed. You are released in the name of Jesus. And hear me. Every force that has put an embargo on your finances, money comes, it vanishes. In the name of Jesus the Christ, I open the door of your finances. I open the gates of your finances. Get into the right connections. Get into the right businesses. Every money being held down is released now in the name of Jesus. And for every one of you who have been barren of encounters, God has become like a fairy tale. God has become like a story of yesteryears. You don't know when last you prayed. You don't know when last you waited upon God. You don't know when last you had an encounter. In the name of Jesus the Christ, the heavens over you are open. I speak on numbered encounters over you from this night. Begin to have encounters. Let your prayer altars be resurrected. Let the fire upon your altars be resurrected. The devil came into your life because there was no intensity. Now you are baptized afresh with the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, step into deeper levels of intimacy. You will know God by experience. You will not be told about God. You will not be barren of God. He said, I wish above all things that thou mightest prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospered. He said, what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? You will not lose your soul. You will know God by experience. He said, that which was from the beginning, which our eyes have seen, which we have handled of the word of life, you will handle of the word of life. You will touch God by experience. And this new fire that God is setting up in your heart, it will not quench. It will not go down. And if there be any addiction in your life, if there be any secret sin in your life that have become a weight stopping you from moving forward, I rebuke addictions now. I cause pornography. I cause masturbation. I cause every demonic iniquity, all forms of iniquity, even issues that cannot be spoken about. You have lost for your gender. You have lost for like gender. You don't know what to do about it. The devil is covering with your mind. I bring you the fire of God. That demonic thing dies. You are sanitized. You are purified. You are sanctified. You are restored in the name of Jesus. Let a new fire begin to burn in your life. This fasting will not end. Everyone who went to Horeb encountered God. Everyone who waited upon him encountered him. He said, they that wait upon the Lord. He said, they mount up with wings like the eagles. He said, they run, they don't faint. They walk, they don't get weary. From today, step into the realms of God. Carry the energy and the power of God. Operate by the speed of the Holy Spirit. And let your life become an endless name of the miraculous. He said, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. They are thoughts of good and not of evil. To give you a hope and a future you will receive your expected end even from tonight he said these signs shall follow them that believe from tonight your life becomes a wonder he said every good and every perfect gift comes from above they come from the father of life from today you walk within the realms of perfect gifts in the name of jesus the quality of your life changes the hand of god is strong upon you and you become a joy of many generations arise shine your light is come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. So let it be written. So let it be established. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody lift your hands wherever you are and give God praise. Honor the name of the Lord. Give him thanks. Give him glory. Give him glory. My goodness. Hallelujah. My heart was heavy. People are going through pains. God, your God will shine. Your God will show forth. Your God will show forth for you. You will not be put to shame. He said they looked up to him. They were radiant. Their faces were not ashamed. I prayed for a brother today. His son of less than two years was dying in the hospital. The devil is wicked. You will not regret serving God. And you, people will not ask you where is your God. Your God will show up like the stars of the morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Like the rising sun. Your God will show up because your mouth will be full of laughter and testimonies. So let it be written. So let it be established in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Glory to God. In one minute, just give God thanks. Give God thanks. I was under an intense energy here. My goodness. My goodness. <laughs> Glory. Glory to God. Go ahead and give him thanks. 
Give him thanks. Nothing breaks here. Nothing spoils here. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and give God thanks. Give him glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Have you been blessed tonight? Have you been blessed tonight? Some of you, even while you yet hear me, God has touched you. Listen, I encourage people. It's one thing to be touched. It's another thing to be made whole. Everything God does for us, he wants us to remain there and to take over. But there is a key. The key is to testify. Never be shy to testify. Look forward to testifying. Be excited about testifying. If you have received a healing now or a touch of God, maybe the fire of God came on you, you saw a vision, or even from the day the fasting began, you have begun to receive testimonies. Things, listen, it's not even just the declaration I'm making here. For some of you, things already will begin to change. Things should be happening by free course now. People should be having promotions now. People should be having breakthroughs now. People should be having supernatural things happen with them. People should be having angelic visitations already. It mustn't be the declaration. Something supernatural is already happening with you. A phone number has been posted. Quickly, quickly, send in your testimonies. If you don't have a phone where you can do a video recording of one minute, type it and send it in immediately. Begin to send those testimonies in. And then if you have a good device, don't be ashamed when God helps you, when God touches you. This is how we glorify the name of the Lord. Do a landscape one minute video. Send it to that number on WhatsApp. We will collect them here and we will share them to the shame of the devil. There were many written testimonies, but I didn't have time to read tonight. That's why I couldn't. But send in those testimonies. Write them in. Send them in. Somebody, a door open, favor coming from every side. You are stirring the waters already. That's why they are happening. Testify. And as you testify, more will happen. Remember, Luke 17, 17 to 19, 10 lepers were cleansed. One came back. Jesus asked the question, were there not 10 of you cleansed? Where are the nine? Where are the nine? Don't be part of the nine that Jesus is asking for. Be that one that graciously and gratefully testified. I'm looking forward to receiving great testimonies of breakthroughs, of breakage of embargoes, of new relationships, profitable relationships, of healings, of miracles, of monies that were lost or monies that were, you know, were stolen, returned. So many great testimonies. And I also expect you to go out and begin to minister. Minister to people and bring those testimonies here. I prayed for the blind, the eyes open. I prayed for the deaf, the ears open. You are fasting. Your sensitivity level is high. The anointing on your life is burning. Put it to work. One of our brothers shared with us last week after I taught them on the platform with the UK brethren and he was charged. He went and a friend who had cancer of the bone marrow, white blood cell, leukemia, the white blood cell rating had gone to 44,000, whereas the normal, the normal is 11,000. By 31,000, it has increased. Cancer of the bone marrow. He made the declaration. And in, in a short period of time, I've forgotten the time now, it dropped from 44,000 to 13,000. Healing is happening. Another sister who is among the U.S. brethren, if a doctor, somebody had an issue, they had done CT scan, so many crazy things happening, she couldn't even go to come to work. She was not even a believer as it were. Can I pray with you, my sister? He said, go ahead. She made the declaration. Every symptom cleared off. After two days or three days, the sister came back to work. I want you to go and put these things to work. Pray for people. Make declarations over family members, over loved ones, over sick people. Let's gather the testimonies here. Some days when we come, we should share only testimonies and give God praise. Because it's not just what I'm declaring, but what God will begin to do through you. So anything God has done, get the testimony, send it here. We will share it. That number has been projected. I'm looking forward from this night to start having written testimonies and video testimonies. I may not be able to share tomorrow because tomorrow we'll have service. On Monday we have prayer meeting. And on Tuesday we have Bible study. But I'm going to catch you here again on Wednesday as we have a glorious time with the Lord. Thank you for connecting from all around the world. Wherever you are connected from, God bless you richly. I'm seeing my friend Edafe Otoware. I'm seeing um, Sebesho. I'm seeing Mame Asantewa. From all around the world, people are connecting. If you would just put your name quickly and where you are calling from, just for a quick salutation. I'm seeing Esewi Imadi. I'm seeing Ungupo. 
God bless you richly. If you will drop your name and where you are connected from, I just salute you quickly as we draw the curtains. God bless you. God bless you. I'll catch you here again on Wednesday as we have a great and wonderful time before our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ doing great and mighty things. I'm seeing Slovakia from Europe, Katarina, Baronova. I'm seeing Okewumi Favor. I'm seeing Eka Indon from the Philippines. God bless you richly. I'm seeing Adams from Ghana. I'm seeing Steve Kamati from Kenya. God bless you. It's so good to have all of you connected from all around the world. Can you imagine? Someone is connected from Slovakia. Glory to God. I think one of these days we are going to be sharing here just to catch some experiences from you. I'm seeing Joseph and G here from Kenya. We're going to be talking to know how you are doing from all your regions around the world. Thank you so much for joining in. I am your brother, Michael Oropo, logging out from the studio, and God bless you. See you again. Oh my God, so many names are already coming in. Okay, let me address some of them. I'm seeing Ida Chipula from Malawi. I'm seeing Emmanuel from Australia. I'm seeing Greta from Tennessee. I'm seeing Nomsa from South Africa. I'm seeing Kati from Seoul. Amazing. Glory to God. I'm seeing Awande from Swaziland. I'm seeing Keba from Botswana. I'm seeing Adenike from UK. I'm seeing Kenneth from Tanzania. God bless you. Oh, some of you are sowing. God bless you. Thank you so much for giving graciously to the Lord. God bless you richly. I'm seeing Venda from South Africa. I'm seeing Vero from Jamaica. Hey, brother, what a one. Good to have you. God bless you. I'm seeing Gifty from USA. I'm seeing Rona from Uganda. I'm seeing somewhere from England. Glory to God. I'm seeing another person, Kadian from Jamaica. I'm going to come to Jamaica and we do the gospel in a Rastafarian way. Glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm seeing Charles from Zambia, from Botswana. I'm seeing T. I'm seeing Abraham from South Africa, all around the world. My goodness. I'm seeing my Rema from South Korea amazing jesus amazing jesus god bless you we are going to chronicle all these nations i'll tell them to chronicle them i'm seeing chin and from usa we are going to chronicle all this so that we recognize all the nations i'm seeing osondo from berlin germany i'm seeing may ngenge from korea i'm seeing ayefomi from togo god bless you richly thank you so much for connecting oh bettina morgan apostle we love you thank you so much sister I appreciate you. And for all of you who are giving so graciously, I'm so grateful. God bless you richly. God bless you richly. Thank you so much for easing the burdens. Thank you so much for making the burdens light. The Lord bless you. I'm seeing David from Tulsa. I'm seeing Ephion from Ibadan. I'm seeing Faith from Lagos. My God, I'm seeing Rose from Lebanon. Oh, glory to God. I'm seeing Uyi from Italy. I'm seeing Samuel from Cameroon. We'll be in Cameroon in October. God bless you richly. Thank you all for connecting. And thank you all for, be, for being so kind with your words and your givings. Thank you for being so gracious. I truly love and appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And thank you for giving graciously. My God, Sweden. Love it from Sweden. Glory to Jesus. So I'll tell the media people to chronicle all these nations. And then we are going to put the, the flags under just to let you know that we recognize that you are connected from all of these nations. We love you. I know our time differences are quite wide. For some of you, it's still morning. For some of you, it's afternoon. And some of you, it's already late in the night. And so um, you can break your fast anytime from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m., um, depending on what you do. I remember I told you some of you do very strenuous work. So you can break your fast from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, to 6 p.m. depending on where you are and if you if you feel very dehydrated you can take some water I give that liberty so that it doesn't become a burden the goal is for you to wait on the Lord and so we spend time to pray I believe God will do great and extraordinary things in our lives thank you all again for connecting and thank you all for giving graciously I'm so grateful thank you you have made the work of God easy you have lighted the burdens for us and we can only say God bless replenish and reward you graciously in Jesus' precious name. You ancient Zion's king. Kadosh. You are mighty on your
your throne. You reign, you, reign, you, reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. said is that when you get here then the hand of God comes upon you a stone there's no way a stone would have killed Goliath and David is too young to throw a stone to break the score of Goliath even if he penetrated his helmet there's no way a stone from a boy of 17 would have broken the score of a warrior and a giant like Goliath but what happens is that when you arrive here, the fourth protocol is that the hand of God will come upon you. That hand of God is what makes anything you do righteously to prosper. But you see, many don't get here. That's why they don't see the backings of God. When Moses refused to be intimidated by Pharaoh, and he insisted, every time he spoke, God validated it. Until when they left Egypt, they reached the Red Sea. It looked as if they are finished. And Moses turned to God and said, go forward, stretch your rod. And when Moses stretched his rod, the Bible said God blasted his nostrils. And it was a blast of his nostril that parted the Red Sea. So it was not the stretching of Moses' rod. It was the hand of God. One thing God will do for us here tonight is that he will stretch his hand. Because most of you, there will be a supernatural lifting for you. You have struggled. You have asked questions. As light has come to you tonight, God will put grace to shift you to where you need to get to. Because like I told you from the beginning, God needs men. Some of us, the reason God lifted us up is because he needed us. We were not wise. Paul said, why we were yet seen as Christ died for us. None of us was wise to choose God. He said, all we like sheep have gone astray. It was God himself that drew us to himself because he needs men for his agenda. The body needs men. Our ranks are depleted. Look at our government. We don't have men that can speak and favor verdicts will be passed in the favor of the church. Everybody that speaks today either references in the Dahosa or our father, Reverend Omar Opari but they have served their generation new men needs to rise that when they speak the government will look at the church favorably and nations need men look at nigeria our country see how backward we are because there are no men who can bring righteous policies that will put the nation on course even the christians that go there the moment they go there they become wolves in sheep clothing all they think of is how to fill their swiss account and to have houses in nations they may never visit and they loot out the wealth of our nation dump it in different places and they walk around with pride calling themselves senators and governors most of them are a disgrace to the name that they bear because they don't know what it means to be a christian nations need men our educational system is so backward as simple as my research was I had to do part of my experiment in Strathclyde in, in Scotland. Some of my experiments had to be done even in a nation like Botswana. Just because you need a machine. I needed to use a spectroscopic machine called SEM-EDX. 
just to snap a nanoparticle to show me the shape and also to reveal to me the atoms that are present i couldn't find a functional machine to use i had to go to Botswana. what does it take to change the education our lecturers are crying the monies that should be paid lecturers three men will sit down and share it even the universities the graduates have been churned out they have no functional knowledge if you employ them they have to be graduate trainee for six months to learn a job that they should have mastered whereas when you go to nations as godless as some of those nations are the future naturally appears because why the people are on, on, in, in, on campus they are already improving on, on existing inventions because they have the right gadgets to work with today somebody can study and graduate from school and he has not seen the names that they, they called for him in 100 level they told us water is h2o most people didn't know how to produce water until they graduated we need men but it will take men that know how to rise until the hand of god comes upon them and then when the hand of god comes upon you you now learn how to manage glory because there's a wisdom there is a warfare that comes when you enter your glory that's why saul never fought david david used to be saul's favorite in fact when they sent david to saul saul sent a message to jesse and said please leave this boy with me i love him but when david entered his glory saul became his enemy there are battles you will fight in the glory you will need wisdom to manage it at that level it's not power you need it's wisdom because that battle comes to disqualify you and god will be watching to see what you will do and the reason david was established was because when he had the opportunity to kiss Saul, he didn't he said i will not touch the lost anointed he said no man can touch the lost anointed and go guiltless the second thing you will need to manage in glory is the praises of men the moment david emerged the woman began to sing Paul killed, Saul killed a thousand. David killed ten thousand. But David was never carried away. So many don't know how to complete this circuit. That's why they never rise up. But tonight, God wants to stretch his hand. It doesn't matter. You can be in a pit like Joseph, but you will become a prime minister. You can be a shepherd boy left behind the wilderness to die. But you can become a king. And a king that his dynasty will be forever. Can you lift your hands towards heaven? and ask the Lord to encounter you tonight. Hmm. Ask the Lord to visit you tonight. God told me, touch men. He told me he will change the stories of men. That's why I came. He told me he will lift men from the Marie clay and establish them among princes that they may inherit thrones. Oh. very soon there will be a shift here and some of you will be carried in the spirit break forth oh spirit of the deep cry out Kadosh you are mighty on your throne mm. break forth oh fountains of the deep Cry out, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. You reign. You reign. You reign. You reign, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. Ali Aliyah, 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 
Raga Pacasaradana, Raga Dundra Faragataya, Raga Padre Ferre de Gessi, Raga Pada, Sabaracara, Ravagata, Zegatena Paracadonza Bragatia, can you pray the Holy Ghost? Manta Capata Rabina Santa, I will not need the work. The hand of God will come upon some of you now. This is what the Lord is telling me. He wants to give visibility to men because of the gifts that he has put in them. One of the channels of raising men is by their giftings. When the gift of a man begins to find expression, no force can stop it. And so tonight, God wants to breathe upon the giftings of men. Father, in the name of Jesus, Please, I, I need you to hear and be attentive. The hand of God will come upon some of you now. Because that voice is about to become the opium of a generation. That eye that see, that hands that walk wonders, is about to be noised abroad. Ushers, please help me if we have ushers now. Father, in the name of Jesus, everyone you are ordaining on account of his gift, I come as one helped by the Spirit. Wherever you are standing, those watching online right now i ask for that impartation i ask from the left to the right from the front to the back every gift here that has been quiet i release fire wake up come alive be heard receive that fire now receive that fire usher set me usher set me take that fire I need you to help me. God is touching some persons. It's just a sign. But so long as you are hearing me and you are under this atmosphere, you can never be the same again. 
Now lift that hand one more time. I see men whose giftings are bringing them to global stages. Global platforms. Global. Global platforms. Some of you is your voice. Some of you is skill. Some of you is your talent. Father, in the name of Jesus, every gift here that has a global capacity that has been buried by demons or by the wickedness of men or by the limitation of character, wherever they are standing, I release the fires of heaven. Ushers, help me bring them here. I want to lay hands on them. Take that fire. Take that fire. Take that fire. By the powers of heaven.